a short walk from Farringdon Station. The Goldsmith Centre is the home of our exhibition, The Brooch Unpinned, this spring. Free to visit and easy to reach straight off the street, this exhibition is a glittering celebration of the art of the brooch. Opening with a fabulous display of striking graphic shapes, the introductory case sets the tone for the exhibition, with brooches by Dorothy Hogg, Kevin Coates, Emmeline Hastings and the late Wendy Ramshaw. The versatility of the brooch as an art form is immediately apparent, and so is its ability to spark conversations between the wearer and the viewer. As Joanna Hardy puts it, the jewels will inspire future generations, not only with their iconic beauty, but equally with their creator's message of empowerment. This panel sheds light on the brooch's origins as a method of attaching textiles to the body. The artist and maker Wendy Ramshaw celebrated what makes this kind of jewel special. Jewellery, unlike most other art forms, has a life of its own. As the wearer approaches, turns and moves, light falls upon the piece. It is fully seen, half seen. It is a portable art form. The displays give us insights into the balance of function and artistic detail, beginning with the vibrant styles of Elizabeth Jane Campbell and Anna Gordon, followed by the striking contemporary shapes of brooches by Christina Zani and Jonathan Boyd. The role of microengineering in brooch making is a key focus. This graphic clearly displays the fronts and the backs of each piece, reinforcing the importance of weighting, balance, fixing and wearability if a brooch is to work on the body. Texture is an especially important aspect, ranging from smooth ripples of gold to sharp edges and lines, or specifically roughened surfaces. Each piece tells its own story through this combination of texture and colour as what the maker John Donald calls experiments in form. 1960s design is a big influence in the look of the brooch unpinned. The bronze mounts, each in the form of a pyramid, are inspired by the International Exhibition of Modern Jewellery in 1961, a pioneering event at Goldsmiths Hall which paved the way for the company's collection of modern jewellery and its pioneering support for art jewellery into the present. Graham Hughes, who curated the 1961 exhibition and kick-started the company collection, commented that the most distinguished new jewels are in fact very close to modern painting or sculpture. Sometimes they're actually made by painters or sculptors. The final pyramid solidifies this notion of the brooch as an art form. From 1961, the exhibition shows how the brooch did indeed become an art form, one which was versatile, wearable and contemporary, through which makers expanded what was possible in precious metals.